Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a nice surprise for you. So I was able to get my hands on a brand new 2023 GR Corolla. Actually, it's mine. I bought it. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna review my own car today. I wanna show you a little bit of the car. Most of you should know a little bit about it. I'll give you a little bit backstory on the car, but hey, let's go and review that car. You guys are ready? Let's go. So here it is, guys. I wanted to show you the 2023 GR Corolla. I just bought this baby and it's been a long time coming trying to acquire one of these cars. It's not easy to find, especially the one that I got. You guys know this car comes in three different trim. You have the Core, the Circuit, and the Maritza Edition. So this one, this is mine. This is the Circuit Edition, guys. Let me show you guys a little bit the outside of this car. A lot of people should know pretty much what this car is about. But I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what it looks like so far. Just tell me what you guys think. I, I think this car looks beautiful, especially in this color. I mean, this color really, really pop. What do you guys think? I think it's a beautiful, beautiful car. So let's go around and I'll show you a little bit of the car, guys. First, we're gonna do, let's start in the front, guys. So if you've seen a Corolla before, these guys should be, I mean, these lights should be similar to the regular Corolla, but the difference is, you know, I think the XXC or XSE or SXE has a little, you know, to do a little um i think they call c light i don't remember what they are called but this one only have like this light right here i'll show you in a little bit what it looks like maybe even at night and you already know these vents are functional they are gloss black I, i'm not a fan of the one of the big pet peeve that i don't like about this car it has a lot of gloss black everywhere but you know that's something we're gonna have to deal with so you know they also have the functional vent over here to bring more air into the engine then see there you go see it says gr4 by the way this is where i was able to get the car and i'll give you a little backstory on that a little later when we go for a quick uh, ride and this car comes with uh, the led fogs and functional hood scoop also gloss black and also come with the the camera on the top there for lane keep assist, lane departure, and other safety, Toyota safety stuff. And then we got the big, big boy, the big ram. So these are 18 inches, guys. These are the 23540ZR18. On the Maurizio, it's 245, I believe. Those are wider tires, but on the core, it's about the same thing. And it also come with the painted red caliper GR with the two-piece rotor slotted. You guys know this car has front and rear torsion and limited slip diff. This is for the front and the rear in the circuit edition. And for the core, you can, this is one of the package you can add. And then you would also get the painted red caliper in the rear. The McPherson type strut for the front, double wishbone type multi-link rear suspension. This is tuned for the especially for this car. If you get the Maritzo, it has a GR track suspension, which is a little stiffer than this guy. This is more livable for a daily car. What do you guys think? These side vents are also functional. Can't forget the nice GR badge. In the circuit edition also come with the um, gloss black mirror cap. Side mirrors are, there's like one little LED, tiny LED here, but it works. You also have the GR4 stamp right in there to let you know this is a four wheel drive. And you have the added little bulge right here that's also fade all the way to the back with the really back bumper. I really like those tail lights too, guys. Everything is LED, just so you know. And then we have more gloss black. This is an option for the core, but this comes standard in the Maurizio and the Circuit Edition. And then one of the best thing that the Maurizio and the Circuit has is the carbon fiber uh, roof. It does not come in the core at all. This comes just color match to the car. And then you also have the gloss 
technically looks black. I think it's matte black. Yeah, the matte black shark fin antenna. And then guys, to get into the car, you can lock with this button or you can unlock with it. Or you can put your, you can put your hands here and there you go, door opens up. So let me show you the back a little bit more guys. You see, I mean, she has a wide one. PHAT? <laughs> yes, it's really PHAT. I'm not gonna say the word. You guys can exactly guess what I'm talking about. It has the um, those uh, reflectors and the famous three exhaust pipes, guys. More gloss black here. You got a big Toyota logo here, and underneath it, you have the backup camera. It's a normal backup camera. It's not a. It's not the best camera, but it's a camera. It works. So I gotta show you guys. This is where you open the the hatch. And there's a big button right here. The big button is to open the, the hatch. If you have the key near you, you can open the, the hatch. Or if you want to lock the car next to it, there's like a smaller button. Let me see, see where my hands is? If you hit the button, that would lock the car. And if you hit the big button right here and the key is near you, that would also unlock the car. And for a second time, it would open up the hatch. Then you can, hold on, hold on. You can open up the hatch. There we go. So there you go, guys. As you know, the seats fold for your 60-40 split. This is higher than a regular Corolla, so they raised it up, and let me show you why. So guys, when you buy the new um, GR Corolla, it comes with this little bag. I'm gonna op <laughs> open it up and show you guys what's, what's in it. Oop, hold on. So you got a little strap. You have gloves. You have uh, jumper cables. You have a little flashlight, <laughs> there you go. So you can see, you have some tape. I think it's tape, I gotta check it out. And you have some wipes, oh, survival wraps. That's cool, it's like a little medicine cabinet. You have a couple of, uh, you see, you have some uh, carbon fiber, um, carbon fiber cloth. You have a little um, tire pressure checker thing. I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. And then here, you have a little toolbox. Oh, that's cool. I like that, look at that, guys. Oh, you have a little multi-tool. Oh, cool, I didn't even notice that. Grips, and then what do you have? You have a, a little cutter, you have a screwdriver on there. You have a little filer over here. There's another one, what is the next one? Okay, another little cutter this is to open your beer and there's a cutter right there and what is the last one the last one is just a knife and on the other side you have hold on I think you have a screwdriver yeah you can oh, oh you can't close this out oh, you have a screwdriver here and that's about it guys cool that is cool all right now let's close everything back in here that is cool, I didn't know this was in here. That is a hefty little tool. Stainless steel, by the way. It would be nice if we say GR Corolla right there. I would love that. Okay, let's put that back in here. And then, I don't know what this would be helpful for, but you have a bungee cord. And what else that's in here? Oh, basically it just tells you what's in the little, the little bags. Booster cable, bungee cord, hose tape, towel, shop towel, emergency poncho, emergency poncho, you never know. Pair of cotton, work glove, emergency blanket. Oh, there's an emergency blanket. Huh. Okay, cool. Um, hand squeeze flashlight, multi tool, tire pressure gauge, and a theater strap. There you go. That's what it's in there. It's cool, guys. All right, let's put everything back in here. Okay, let's see what's, what else is up here, guys. Let's lift this up. It's two little hook, you can open this up. I don't know if you could see, there's, this is just a big foam there. Let's completely take this out so you guys can see it. So there you go, guys, this is what you see. This foam thing comes out. This is your little, um, you don't get a spare. This is your tire pressure, um, 
your tire inflating kit that Toyota gives you. This is emergency punch repair kit. So this is probably like that the green foam you put in the tire and you have the little pump that goes with it. I'm not gonna open it up yet. And then you can, if you take this foam out, let me check, take it out. So there you go, guys. There you go. So they, this was raised to accommodate for the all wheel drive. So if it's for weight saving, they put the battery in the back. And this is literally just the, um, to put your, your box in there. That's it. Ooh, I gotta vacuum this guy out. You also have um, struts bar uh, here to help uh, stabilize the car. So I like this, guys. Make sure I remind you, this is a GR Corolla. You know, it's weird that it has this deep, maybe it's like storage pocket. I don't know what you're gonna put there, but anyway, it's there. So here you go, that's it, that's the boot, guys. It does have this little thing, guys. You can remove it if you need to, if you need to put something big in there. Let's fold this seat so I can show you. So guys, I only fold one of the seats. It gives you a pretty decent amount of room in there, but I didn't fold the other one because my son's seat in there because I wanted you guys to see how roomy it is when you sit in there. Okay guys, so let's get into the car. I want to show you a little bit of the front. And to unlock the car, you have two options. You can do it from here to unlock, or you can just put your hand over here. There's a sensor here and it would unlock the door. Let's start with the door panel, guys. This is, I mean, typical Corolla, nothing too fancy. So this is soft touch right here, guys. Soft touch. You have the window, it's gloss black right here. I don't personally love it, but it is what it is. Guys, you also have, uh, you know, one touch power down on all four window and one touch power up. It's a decent sized pocket. You can put a water bottle here, maybe, hmm, whatever, a sandwich. <laughs> and then, you have the red stitching, which I like, which matches the car fairly well. Instead of gloss black, this is kind of, um, I don't know what you call that, gray? It's a type of gray. It's really, it's, it's all right. It's not great, it's okay. And you have this trim right here also, which is also gloss black. This will not wear out very well at all, guys. So bottom here, this is hard plastic. It's a decent sized pocket. You can put a water bottle here, maybe, hmm, whatever, a sandwich. <laughs> As you know, they're only making 1500 of this car, so for me to be able to get my hands on one, this is priceless. And then this one comes with the Coro GR Corolla badge, which it says GR Corolla on it. I, I like that. Sorry guys, it's a little dirty. I've been driving the car. I like the, the mat. This is where you open your gas tank. And you have three aluminum pedal, and they don't have a, the dead pedal. It's just that. You know, so I'm glad that this is covered. I gotta clean the car a little bit. Sorry guys, I didn't have a chance to. This is part of the stuff that you get in this car. You have the heated steering wheel. This is to clean the back. IMT, I don't know if you guys know what that, basically it's the automatic rev matching. Intelligent, I don't remember what it says. So automatic rev matching and your trip odometer and your light stuff over here. So here it is. Instead of gloss black in the Moritz, in the core, you have this gray, darker gray color. I liked it. I just wish Toyota would continue the um, the red stitching here. I mean, why not, right? I think it would look good. You guys can see the chair. It's a nice, let me show you. See, it, it put a decent bolster. It holds you in the seat pretty well. It's like the full, um, um, full leather. And this, I really like to see. Look at the perforated red. I like it. There you go, guys, look at that. This is nice aluminum pass through. And then with the nice red stitching, those seats are very comfy. I can tell you guys, I love them. Here you got the steering wheel. This is where all your buttons are. You have your volume here, your Apple CarPlay stuff, your phone, your back button. This is to control the screen right here. I'll show you in a little bit. And here you have your drive assist stuff, okay? And don't forget, the GR Corolla button. As you can see guys, I still haven't taken all these things off. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys that the car is literally brand new. I've been playing with this. I don't know if you could see my finger thing. This, uh, this come with the, this is the eight inch infotainment. 
and this guy right here is 12 inch all right guys i wanted i wanted you guys to see what the startup sequence is this is what it looks like if you have a door open close door when you hit the button once this is what you get the accessory mode and all your stuff turns on your radio and your charger turns on too so you go radio it turns on you got your wireless apple carplay and then it's an accessory if i hit it one more time this is the startup sequence i like that i like that a lot let's start it up so you guys can see nice right guys it looks super cool so as you can see this can be customized guys so let me see if i can show you guys a little bit if i hit the all right so i don't know if you see those little bars so if I go on this side here, so I can customize basically what I want on each side here. Let me show you. So you see it's not, it's on number three now. If I go to two, two looks like that. If I go to one, one look like that. And I can go into the setting and I can do, you know, I can change any of these, turn them on. All these settings can be changed here, guys. If you, don't like them or change them to anything else and the gauges here can be changed to something else let me go back so if I hit the OK button one more time then I can basically change this see I can have adaptive cruise over here or I can have the shift uh, to let me know what gear I'm in or I can just leave it like that but if I'm, I can I can go to this side then these are the option I have here so technically, so you can customize that a little bit to what looks better for you. you can leave it blank or you can have the turbo or the gauge. And then if we move to the left, all the way to the left, see this little arrow there? So I can see this or oh, that one. This is the distance, the tripometer. Oh, I can see what's playing on the radio. So that's up to me. And let's go back to the middle. In the middle, I can add something else. Messages and my settings. So these are the different modes that it comes with, guys. I like that one. And if I go over here, I like this over here. So that's what I like. Some people can like something else different. You can have this look also, guys, if you like it. I like the other one better. Let's go back. That's it guys guys I mean at first when I was looking at this I didn't love it but after I've, I had the car for a few days this is just perfect it just had everything you want without too much it's not crazy I just like the this dash this digital dash is really cool that's pretty good view guys look at that you always know what gear you in and it just has all the, the right amount of stuff but I like it. I like it, guys. So nothing spectacular. Automatic air conditioning. So it's very simple. I see that in the one in Europe, they have dual zone. But this one in the US does not have dual zone. Okay, see, I still haven't taken any of these guys off. So you also have your heated seat. This is part of the package you could add in the core, but it's it's standard on the circuit, and I believe it's also standard in Maritza, but it's hard to find one. So QI charger, and here you go. You have your drive mode right here. I really like the shifter, guys. I really like the shifter. It's a special shifter. Well, it's this special one is for the circuit edition. The Maritza has Alcantara, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, I still have all the stickers in there. You have your normal glove backs in here and guys car come with this I'm not sure what these guys are or maybe that's something they were supposed to take out and they did it I don't know what we use this thing for but I'm gonna leave it in here for now as you can see more gloss black this I like I like the shift knob the shift knob boot with the matching red stitching which is cool and then you can't forget your um, GR4 button 
So you can go front, rear, or if you push it, it goes in track mode. So front is, you can go 60, 30, 70, 60, 40, or 50, 50 if you push this button for track mode. I wish they had a little uh, armrest or center console, but it doesn't. But it does come with a USB 3 and an irregular 12 volt. So let's go check out the back real quick. So guys, I'm sitting in the back of the GR Corolla, the circuit edition. I think most of them are about the same thing, guys. It's very roomy. When you look at it from the outside, it does not look at it at all. Look, I'm sitting in the back. I'm all the way back. Even my head is touching this right here. And I still have, I want to say about three, three, three to four inches and I'm five and five, uh, five eleven. So I have a pretty good amount of room, you know what I mean? To sit comfortably. And as you can see back here, I still got another like three to four inches of leg room. So I'm pretty comfortable. So I put my son's seat in the back. He sits very comfortably and it fits fairly well. So it's roomy enough. Like this car is not, you know, a family of yented. It's people who buy this car, it's to have a daily car that could still also sit five people. So this car sits five people. The Maurizio sits only two. The car also sits five. So it's a nice little car that you can easily daily to have some fun with it. And it looks good. <laughs> it looks good, guys. I forgot to show you guys. This comes down. You got two more cups holder in here if you need to use it. Let's push it back. But this is there's another seat here. You know, someone someone can easily sit there if the my son's seat wasn't in there. But I don't show you guys this weird thing that I like. I mean that I don't like. It's weird. Let me show you. Let me so guys I gotta show you this weird thing that I noticed with the car. I'm sure other people have noticed it too. When you open the back door, it doesn't open all the way that we, like a normal hatch would, or if it's just a Corolla thing. Let me open it up. See? So it gets stuck right here. Like it feels like it needs to go a little more, but it doesn't. See? You can get into the car. You see? It is. But I just feel like it should open up a little wider. I don't know. Maybe that's how the car is. Or it's just me. I don't know. I'm trying to show you guys this little thing that I just noticed. I don't know if you guys can see this. You see where it says DRL off? So you can turn off the DRL, which is cool. Or you can put it in auto where it automatically would turn on all the lights for you and you don't have to worry about anything. And also have automatic high beams. So guys, this is the interior. As you can see, there's not too much to it. You know, I just wish Toyota would have brought the red stitching into it. That would have made a big difference, huge difference as soon as you know, just bring it all to the to complete the look. You have red stitching everywhere, and you could have just brought it onto the this as well. I don't know why they didn't do it, but anyway, this one comes with a frameless mirror, guys, which is pretty cool. I like that. All right, guys, you've seen the car. So another thing I gotta show you. Let's go check out the engine. This is where all the fun is at. Let's go. There's a little latch right here, guys. You just, oh, hold on, there you go. You push the latch and then it opens up. So guys, the way Toyota has a design. So this is where the, the little prop hole is. You just slide it down and then you put it over here. Let's check out the little engine. So it's a little dirty in here. It's in line three cylinders, guys. Here you go. Here you go. And it looks like this is where the turbo is or where the pipe goes. And I don't know if you could see how beefy the transmission is, guys. It is a big transmission. And I like this right here. It's a nice little touch. GR Corolla Turbo. Three line. One cylinder, two cylinder, three cylinder. And I like the where they brought the red here. I wish they would have just done the same thing into the dash, but they did not. And I also like, see here, Toyota Gazoo Racing GR. This is big. Uh, airbags look how big this is guys see and the, the, it picks up the air from here this grab the air the cool air from here and there and bring it directly into the airbox plenty of room if you need to work on this car you got the fuse box here computer right there this has 273 foot pound torque and 300 horsepower the 
the Marizzo has 295 with like 26 PSI and this one has 25, 26.2 if I'm not mistaken. So here you go guys, this is the engine. On gas, 91 plus should give you between city, highway and combined should be 21, 28, 24 combined depending how you know how you drive so it might be a little bit more than the, the ep estimated mile this car guys starts at 3590 and if you're looking for the circuit edition it's 42900 and the marizzo it's 49900 this is guys this is a fifty thousand dollar corolla what do you guys think i mean it looks good what do you guys think So I'm gonna show you how it sounds when you start the car. Let's go. This is it guys, do you hear the rumble? And as the car warms up, it cools off and then the third pipe has an active exhaust valve. The active exhaust valve just stop. See, there you go. There you go. Let's take it out on the road. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, these are also active and they help to channel the air through the car. Let's go. All right, guys, let's take her out on the road and I wanna show you a little bit of how she drives. So guys, I, I don't know if I told you to start the car, all you need is put your foot on the, put your foot on the clutch, hit the GR stop start button and then the car starts. Then you can start driving, you know? Have a manual handbrake, which I love. Let's get the manual handbrake down. And then put it in gear, start driving. Another thing that this car does that I really like, guys, is like, you don't really need to give it any gas to move the car. As you move the, um, your foot slowly off the, um, off the clutch, the car would rev itself a little bit more just so the car can move so it doesn't stall out, which is a cool little idea which you know i like so let's take her out on a pole drive a little bit and i'm going to talk about the guys and tell you guys what you think about it <laughs> so let's go guys i hope you guys like the car so this comes with the navigation but it's an option if you really want to have the um if you really want to have the um from the core if you buy the core and you really want it you can still have it okay um so there's like a couple package, you have the technology package, you have the performance package, and then you have the cold weather package, which is heated seat and heated steering wheel, which all come into this car. All right, guys, as you can see, this has um, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can use it for whenever you feel like it. So let's go take this out on the highway for a little bit, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the car so you can tell me what you think. So let's go. I love to hear the turbo noises. Oh, they're nice. I wish you guys can hear it. Oh, the turbo noises are so nice, guys. Um, driving this car, guys, I, I had it for, I want to say about two weeks now. I love driving the car. You still hear the road noise, but it's not designed for that. I think it's one of those cars you drive so you can still feel and hear the road noise. I've driven it to work a couple of times and in traffic, it's it's very livable. It's a nice, fun car to drive. As you can see, the car is brand new. I barely has 381 right now on it and I'm still trying to break it so I don't drive it too crazy. <laughs> I just making sure I keep driving it at a speed limit and keep the, keep the speed down pretty much. That's all I'm doing. Look, the car is really nice. It's nothing super spectacular. So it's basically, it's a really expensive Corolla if I'm trying to dumb it down. But it has everything you need as a nice, livable, four-wheel drive, daily driven car. A nice um, heated seat, nice bolstering on the seat. The sound system is not the greatest, but if you keep the volume low enough, it sounds good. It doesn't have a sub, just has eight speakers and works fairly well. I can't complain about it. I mean, if I had my choice and hopefully, I would, I would change 
the sound. I would I'll add an amp, change the speakers. You know, it doesn't. It's not good enough for my taste. But it's it's okay. Like I said, it's livable. It's not the best thing ever, but it's a, one of those things you can still use. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take it on the back road a little bit so you guys can see how it feels. And the suspension, guys, it's it's stiff. It's fairly stiff, and it does have all the all the amenities, as in you know Toyota safety sense, lane keep assist, lane centering. Um, you also have emergency braking. Also have um, you know the um, what you call that the the, the the following distance and. All of the Toyota safety sense is already in there, so so let's take it on the back road for a little bit, guys, and then let's just see how it feels. All right, guys, are you ready? Story time. Ever since I found out this car was coming out, I really wanted to buy the car. So the same month that I found out when the car was coming out, I started calling around all the dealership that I can find. Everyone that I can find, I called them up and I basically put the. You know, whichever one, some of them just took your name down. Some of them would ask you for a deposit, 250, 500. It all depend where it was. So basically I just put a deposit down on, I think about three guys, three dealership. And hopefully when the car comes out, they, I'll be the first in line. Some say I'm second, say I'm third. So basically fast forward a year, still waiting. And then I started seeing videos about the car coming out some people are getting delivery so i started calling around my the people that i've that i've put deposit with you know and they're all telling me some bs i want to say oh you know the car is not out yet the one that was first out is allocated i'm like well you told me i was number two if you sold three how's number two didn't get his car oh well uh we're sorry you know, they probably put the deposit before you. I was like, what? You're not making any sense. So I, I just left the deposit for a little bit. But one thing that I made sure is that all of my all of my deposits were refundable. Okay, just to be safe. Because you don't you never know with some of the dealership. And then as this year coming on, January, February, more people are getting their delivery. I'm like, oh, this is going crazy. So I started going on Toyota's website. As I'm on Toyota's website, I'm just calling around basically. Calling around whichever dealership has, cause you can go on the Toyota website and see which dealership has the car and who has sold the car. So I just call around. Do you have the, are you gonna get the car? When is the car coming out? Do you have an allocation? So most of them are saying they're about the same thing. Either you need a deposit or we'll take your name down. Months goes by, I don't hear anything, but I've heard they sold the car similar. You they sold the core or any of the car. So basically, I think I wanna say a month and a half ago, two months, two months ago basically. I I just kept going back on the Toyota website and see what I can find, who I can call, what I need to do. Cause I was trying to really get the car. So what I did, I, you know, I'm like, oh, what, what's another 10 dealership? Let me put my name on. Then I'm like, I stopped putting deposits down because I feel like I was running out of money. So luckily I found a couple that was just take your name down. They were like, oh, we'll call you. But I never really thought they would call me. Long story short, that within that two, yeah, I call them two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, I call them in two and a half weeks. And I put my name down and I'm thinking, ah, oh, this is just another one. He's just gonna tell me the same old crap. So I just waited. And finally, on a Thursday, the guy called me, listen, we just got this GR Corolla in and it's a circuit edition. This is the one you were looking for, correct? Yes. Well, it's here, so if you wanna get it, you can have it it's yours you're the first one that was looking for this particular model so you can have it i'm like oh my goodness i'm like well i live far away i'm like two hours away it's crazy and he's like oh can you come now i'm like i can't it's gonna be like two and a half hours in traffic and by the time i get there you be you guys will be closed 
So long story short, we agreed, no, I can't come in the same day, that same Thursday, so I reserve it for the next, basically the next, um, the, the, the weekend coming up. Weekend comes up, it starts to rain. I'm not talking about a little rain. I'm talking about downpouring rain. And it rains from Friday morning till Sunday morning. And I'm like, I can't lose this car. I have to go get it. So I took uh, my cousin, my brother-in-law. We drove to basically that dealership. Their name is uh, Toyota Millenn- Millennium Toyota. Good guys, really good guys. So I forgot to tell you guys. When I told the guys I want to come, I'm like, do not leave it on the showroom. <laughs> I don't want anybody else to see the car and want the car. I want you to hide it from me. Put it in the back lot. If you have a basement, put it in the basement. And he kept to his word. He actually stored the car somewhere down where no one would actually see it. Only the people that works there. So I finally got there. And then we hashed out the numbers. And then there you go. Now she's mine. <laughs> But long story short, it was a long time coming. A lot of dealerships were just giving me the runaround, lying to me, oh, you're number two, you're number three. And then they sold three or four before. So what happened to my number? I just don't, I just don't understand. But the thing that was, I guess, I had another dealership that was around by me in Connecticut that shall remain nameless. Kept telling me, yes, we, it's coming in, it's coming in. And it's been, the car's been coming in for like, I want to say almost five months they keep telling me the same thing so i got back there you know i'll show you another video where i just took my money back and then call it a day so it was done with that you know what i mean so anyway guys that's it that was the story <laughs> quick story i wanted to show you and back to the corolla nice fun car to drive it's not the most technology most savvy cars but it does everything you want really well you know Great suspension, very, I wouldn't say super stiff, but livable stiff that you can still take it to a track. And it's a good daily car as well. I mean, they only come in manual. Um, it's very similar to the, I would say the SX, SXE Corolla, but beside, uh, you know, like interior wise, that's what I mean. So that all that stuff is similar. But after that, the thing that I really love is the gauge. I really love the gauge cluster. It's simple, everything you need is there, and it's not complicated at all. There's no gimmick, it's just perfect. And it's one of those cars that you would love to just have and daily drive and be happy with it, you know? Um, another thing I, I forgot to tell you guys is that um, the, the noise from the third pipe, you hear it up to like 2,500 RPM, and then it cuts off. Like it, it, it turns it off till up to, up until you get back to like 4,500 RPM, then it opens it up again. So, but in the beginning, it's nice and rumbly, not rumbly, nice and deep, and you really hear it. And then as you get past 2,500, it cools down, and then it goes back up again when you get to 4,500 RPM, which is nice, you know? Really good visibility, guys. You see, I really like the visibility. The pillars are big, but it's it doesn't like hinder you your view, so that does not bother me. I don't know what basically what we're gonna do as in mods yet, but stay tuned, guys. All right. So here it is, guys. This is the 2023 Toyota Corolla GR. What do you guys think? Nice little hot pocket. So here it is, guys. That's it. That's the 2023 Toyota Corolla GR. Hope you like it. Tell me what you think down in the comment down below. Any of manufacturers, if you are interested, I'm open to try things out. Just comment down below. And my information is down below. Let me know. I will. I'm willing to try. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Until the next time. Peace.